Seven minutes before the top of the hour here on Morning Live. Good to have you with us. Uh, let's just send out some good thoughts this morning to Mendoza. Of course, all of us know Mendoza and uh, the greatest hit maker here in South Africa. has done exceptionally well, but uh, his family just saying that his uh, condition is not as critical as the media is making it out to be. He does, however, have uh, a brain cancer and he's being treated at home, but we certainly will be updating you in the news bulletin at 7 o'clock, so stay tuned for all of those details coming up. But let's continue to talk about uh, music and some <coughs> fantastic musicians in South Africa. I mean, legends. September is Heritage Month here in South Africa, and the Akuruleni Comes Alive Jazz is celebrating and honoring South African music heritage by hosting a jazz evening where legends like Jonas Gwangwa and the Mahlotela Queens will be performing. Well, to tell us more about the event, we are joined in studio by the uh, organizer of this particular event, Jasmine uh, Mahlekhane, and, and musician. Jonas Guangua, who's here in studio live. Good to have both of you. Welcome Thank to you. the program. Thanks for having us. Leah. Oh, it's an absolute pleasure. Um, let, let's <coughs> begin with you, Jasmine. I mean, it's been 15 years since the beginning of the Akuruleni Comes Alive. When did it sort of like come about, the idea? I mean, how did it all start? 2001. It's amazing. <coughs> yeah, it's, a, it's actually such a milestone for, for an event of this magnitude to really sustain after 15 years. And um, I must say that um, credit to musicians like Ndata Jonas Gwangwa and Mautala Queens who really supported us from day one. Yeah. There's not been an easy road. Um, firstly, you'll understand that normally music, it's one concert um, after a while, then people come through. But the Birchwood and, and Ekuruleni managed to get through this, this journey 15 years later, every month without a fail. That's incredible. I mean, for, for you, Jonas, it's been a great journey as well. You've had a wonderful relationship with the particular, um, the organization and the Akuruleni Comes Alive Jazz. When was the very first time you performed? Do you remember? My very first performance. Uh, for this, for the, the oh. Akuruleni. Not your first performance. <laughs> I am not taking you there. I'm just taking you to the, the Akuruleni Comes Alive Jazz. Do you remember the first time you no, performed? I don't remember the first time, but it's some time back. Yeah. You could tell me. So it was yeah. a while ago. Do you remember? Well, time there you go. I should have asked Jasmine. That. Yeah. It, it, it made a mark for me. Absolutely. 2002. Yeah. 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 And, and I think at the time it was, it was, it was just building up. And I remember um, when we started, uh, musicians like Ndati Jonas Gwangwa, we were told you can't touch them in terms of the amount of money they want. Yeah. And I, I, I was very fortunate that um, his son, Mujalifa, and Ndati Jonas Gwangwa, when I told them about the concept and the idea behind the, the concept, they loved it. They actually said, Jasmine, we are, we are supporting it because we believe that it will give a lot of musicians an opportunity to showcase their talent yeah. at the Bradshaw because it's every month. Without, without a failure. Without like a failure, it's every single Absolutely. month that and, and, happen. and their involvement and, and Leanne, and for them to come onto the show, it helped us a lot because it, it, it gave a lot of other opportunities to other musicians, yeah. young and those who are up and coming, including the big artists like um, Brahim, Masikel and, and, and so forth. So they all then rallied uh, behind the show. Yeah. I mean, do, do you think it's, it's important that, that this is, I mean, jazz in South Africa is massive and there's so many talented musicians and legends like yourself. To have something like this on a monthly basis where people can go and appreciate jazz music. I mean, is this, I, I imagine does a lot for you, for musicians, for the industry. Yeah, we, you, you actually <coughs> wish it could be, a, 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 you could be performing for a week or something. Like yeah, that. yeah. So, <laughs> we miss that kind of thing, you know, because that's what we've been doing out, outside South Africa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, when when you, I suppose, get up onto onto a stage, and and obviously the audience see you and they love you. But do do you think that you that that jazz musicians such as yourself are celebrated enough in South Africa? Do we do we recognize you enough? No, I don't think so. You, it's because of the lack of venues. Yeah, there yeah. you go. It's, it's yeah. that, and uh, it has always been like a weekend thing, you know. Yeah, uh, we need more tourists, you know, to them because that's that's those are the people that support uh, the, the nightclubs. Like uh, uh, in New York, you 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 hear okay, Miles Davis is there with with Fiona uh, Monk, and then, you know, and people would go from as far as Paris or London, you know, to come and see that combination. Amazing. You know, yeah. Yeah. And. Uh, <coughs> If we had like the, 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 the culture and tourism, those two meshed together because they're symbiotic, you know, yeah, that would be 
that would be much it would be, be much better. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I mean it is. I it, saw it, that in Malaysia. It works very well. It does yeah. work exceptionally well. And people, yeah. you know, you want to go, you want to experience it. Yeah. And this this does fill a very big gap, something Absolutely. that you are doing. And, and, and for, I mean, to think that we are a hotel, I mean, we're not even a nightclub. Exactly. We, we started this concept 2001, if I may remember. And the, the idea was, we looked at the gap in the market, firstly, yeah. from the music point of view, and secondly, for the nightlife point of view. And we realized that actually this could work well for our brand, from the budget point of view, but also from the musicians. I mean, if, if and, and I remember the time, Kipis was, was a big thing. And um, the only big show was Moretti. So then I realized that, I mean, musicians cannot sustain their lives based on the two, you know, concept, which is Kipis at the time and, and Moretti the concert. So that's how the virtue was born. And I think I'm glad that 15 years later, we are able to sustain few few lives and, and also have produced a couple of musicians who are today big artists in the country. That's it's, a, it's an incredible thing. So it's happening this, this weekend? This Friday. This Friday yeah, night? Yeah, we will be having Mautela Queens and Rojonas Kongo. And by the way, we'll be honoring them. I think as you are asking, are we celebrating them enough? I don't think so. And I think Beatrice wants to lead the way to actually start honoring and celebrating these Good. musicians who have done so much Good. for this country. Unbelievable. I'm so happy to hear that. Tickets available still? Tickets available. People Excellent. can go on our website at www.betchurotel.ca and then they can book online. Uh, Brad Jonas, before I let you go, are you working on anything at the moment? Yeah, well, <coughs> I've been working on a, a show I did some time back. I, I did a show called Amanda Cultural Ensemble, which I studied in uh, Angola. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, with, with the MK soldiers. We were on a world tour for 10 years. Amazing. Yeah, you know, raising food, clothing, medication, and everything. And of course, it was for the ANC at the time. You see, so I just <coughs> raised Working it again. on getting that yeah, together again. And we had a show, actually, in December at the State Theatre. Yeah. We had four performances. And uh, we're still looking forward to be doing that again. Excellent. Well, please yeah. let us let us know if there are um, you're going to be performing that again, and we'd love to we'd love Definitely. to chat to you more about it and, and you come and see it as well. It. Thank yeah. you so much, Rajonas Gwanga. Always a pleasure to see you and having a legend in studio, Jasmine. Thanks for what you're Thank doing. You so much. And uh, Friday night, Birchwood, the place to be, the Matlotella Queens, and the legend himself, Jonas Gwanga, performing at the Akuruleni Comes Alive Jazz. Fifteen years is what they're celebrating. All right, the time.